Hi everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. My name is Jared. Uh, today it looks like it's official. The Smokehouse Creek Fire in Texas is now the largest wildfire in Texas state history. And uh, this is something that I'm keeping track of. I'm looking for the largest, deadliest, most destructive wildfires and I'm putting them on my spreadsheet. We'll look at that in just a minute. But uh, it's crazy how, how quickly that escalated. Um, as you can see, you have a bunch of cows here, cattle that are running away from the fire. And I feel like this is something that we're seeing more often, videos of people and animals running away from dangerous things. We saw it with Lahaina as people were literally jumping into the ocean to escape the fire that was destroying the town. We saw it on October 7th, people from the Nova Music Festival running away from Hamas. You know, I, I really feel like these are truly the last days. And uh, so let's just get into it. Um, so we have this article from New York Times. Fire, firefighters rush to contain Texas wildfire. Now the state's largest on record. And here we're seeing the familiar scenes of uh, trees, homes, cars, neighborhoods, cities being burnt down. Okay, it says... A vast and growing wildfire, one of several burning in Texas panhandle, has now become the largest on record in the state's history, according to state figures on Thursday. The fire has scorched more than a million acres of land, devastating cattle ranches, consuming homes, and continuing to rage out of control. The fire called the Smokehouse Creek Fire is the largest of several that are burning a hole in the heart of Texas cattle country. It was only 3% contained on Thursday morning, according to the Texas A&M Forest Service. The fire has so far burned at least 1,075,000 acres, more than five times the size of New York City in a sparsely populated area, and has surged beyond the size of the state's previous biggest wildfire in 2006. Firefighters have a limited... Well, before we move on... So, yeah... So let's look at my spreadsheet where I keep track of this. So let's go. This is all in chronological order, of course. So I turn this, uh, I change the color to this light uh, red color because now this is the second largest wildfire back in 2006. It almost got to a million. But now we have this one uh, this year, which is now Texas's largest wildfire at 1,075,000. And I thought that was a pretty high number, and I wanted to compare it to some of these other fires. And I realized that it's actually larger than, let me find it, uh, California's largest wildfire in state history. California had its largest wildfire in 2020 called the August Complex Fire, and it was 1,032,000. So this wildfire in Texas is even bigger than that. And it's not even close to being contained at this point. Uh, the last time that we see a wildfire this big, uh, we have to go back to last year in, um, let's see, British, Col I think this is British, let me just, yeah, British Columbia, the Donnie Creek fire. That was 1.4 million. And I don't know, I feel like this is well on its way to uh, matching that. Before that, uh, if we're looking at just single wildfires, you'd have to go back to 2020, Australia's Gospers Mountain Fire, which was uh, Australia's single largest wildfire in that nation's history at 1.2. So let's look at the map really quick. Okay, let me zoom out. So you can see Texas and Oklahoma right here. And uh, you can see a, a sizable portion of Texas that's burning. There's kind of like these two main areas. This one over here. What's this called? Windy Deuce Incident. Uh, that by itself is pretty large. It's almost at 144,000. And then you have all this over here. The Smokehouse Creek Incident. Uh, 1,075,000. And uh, it crosses the border a little bit into Oklahoma. And the, from what I've seen, it seems like the winds are going up this way. So I don't know if uh, more of this is going to spread into Oklahoma. But anyway, let me double check on this. Click on it again. Oh, on, this, on this map, it doesn't say how much can, how, what percent contained. 
let's go to zoom earth <coughs> and uh well i think that they just haven't updated it because they're saying zero percent contained and they haven't updated the acreage so according to new york times uh this article that was published today it's only three percent contained okay continuing Firefighters have a limited amount of time to battle the wildfires before higher winds and hotter, drier air are expected to return to the area over the weekend. Firefighters have been deployed to the region from other parts of Texas, including some from as far away as Lubbock, uh, where we have a temple, by the way, and Fort Worth under Governor Greg Abbott's disaster declaration on Tuesday. Quote, They've got a short window to try and get, and get a handle on it before the winds ramp up again, said Edward uh, Andrade, the lead forecaster at the National Weather Service office in Amarillo. Or Amar- Amarillo, I don't know. Strong winds of around 30 miles an hour were forecast to return on Saturday, and temperatures were expected to rise back up to the 70s. Those conditions were likely to continue on Sunday and could accelerate the fire spread and hinder firefighters' efforts, he said. So, I don't know. This is probably going to get pretty big. Again, right now, uh, it's only 3% contained. It's already the biggest in state history. It's bigger than the California, California's largest wildfire and many others. And there's like not really any end in sight at this point. And then things are just going to get worse this weekend. Okay, the rugged terrain of the Canadian River Valley, um, where the fire started, was another major obstacle for firefighters because fire trucks cannot navigate uh, some of the cliffs, valleys, and steep hills in the area. Uh, The Smokehouse Creek Fire, combined with other nearby fires, uh, spanned spanned at least 11 counties early Thursday, burning land mainly used for farming and cattle ranching. In the town of Canadian, in Hemphill County, fires destroyed or damaged dozens of houses. So yeah, that's the one location, Canadian, Texas, that seems to (coughs) have seen the worst of it as far as like populated areas go. Uh, We'll get some of that in just a minute. And then on NBC... There's just a few things here I want to show you. So in their uh, What You Need to Know About Texas Wildfires, uh, they said that this is an area larger than not just uh, New York City, like like five New York cities or whatever the other article said, but bigger than Rhode Island. So let's take a look at that. Okay, let's go over here. Here's Rhode Island. Okay. Uh, between Massachusetts and Connecticut. So bigger than this right here. That is crazy. Okay, let's go back. Uh, The state's fire preparedness level was raised to a three, meaning outside help from other agencies, regions, or states may be required to battle the blazes. Yeah, I would think so. If it's it's this big, (coughs) I mean, gosh, bigger than any wildfire in Texas or California state history and in probably many other states. In fact, let's look at that really quick. So Nova Nova Scotia, uh, 53,000 acres, Louisiana, that was last year, 32,000 European union, which includes uh, Greece because that's where the wildfire was 200,000. Um, let's see. New Mexico, 341,000 was its largest wildfire. We talked about California. Colorado, 208,000. Washington State, 410,000. So you, you see that this is like a pretty significant wildfire when you compare all these other locations. Nevada, not even half a million. Um, Chile, uh, 1.4 million, so that that's larger, but I guess we'll see where this one goes. Montana was also 1.4 million back in 2017. Let's look at Idaho and Utah. Utah, 363,000. Idaho, 652. Arizona, 538. So uh, this is huge. This is huge. 
So I yeah, it, it it wouldn't surprise me that it's at a level three where it needs outside assistance. Um, there's one person that died. Uh, family members had identified an 83 year old grandmother from the town of Stinnett uh, as the only person confirmed killed from the fires to date. Joyce Blankenship, a former substitute teacher, was found dead in her home. Family members said so. Prayers for uh, her loved ones. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. There's, you know, a lot more details here, but we've talked about, uh, the most important things. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to show this. It's been a while since we've looked at this, um, PDF that they have that the California state government has, but it has their top 20, uh, largest wildfires for California. And, uh, I just want to point out (coughs) that the majority of them are from this century. Okay. And there's only, let's see, one, it's been a while since I've done this, one, two, yeah, only two that are from uh, before the 21st century. And then a lot of these are from the 20s. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine out of these top 20 largest California wildfires, nine of them are from the twenties from the year 19, from the year 2020 until now. So almost half of them come from just the last few years. So, and then, uh, let's review, let's revisit my spreadsheet where what I did is I took, uh, this spreadsheet, I totaled up these different events, uh, largest, deadliest, and most destructive. And I just kind of did a tally and put it on this spreadsheet. And this is what it looks like. Look how things have really escalated since President Nelson became president of the church right here. We are clearly in a new phase when it comes to wildfires. And we've hit up all the like the large countries and uh, states and provinces. We've had Canada last year. Canada had its largest uh, wildfire season across the entire country uh, in its history. So did no. Okay. And then the European union had its largest single wildfire in Greece. And then, uh, 2021 Russia had its largest wildfire season in 2021. And yeah. And like, I, I always have to say, I've done my best to search as many different places I, as I can. And this is what I have so far. Um, some locations, it's just, it's really hard to find what their largest wildfire was, most destructive or deadliest. But with what I've been able to put together so far, it pretty much all starts in 2004. There's a couple before then, in 1998 with Wyoming, uh, 1974 with Australia, with its like worst wildfire season. But uh, everything really starts in 2004, and things really take off. I guess you could say in 2017, or you could say 2018, when President Nelson becomes president of the church. And uh, 2023 so far uh, has been like the worst as far as like a uh, total number of these kind of events. So, uh, yeah, this is just, it blows my mind. Let's look at a few of these videos. Earth for tomorrow. Massive wildfire scorches over 1 million acres in Panhandle. Hashtag Texas marking the state's second biggest wildfire disaster in history. Well, at the time that this was posted, yes, but today, later today, no, now it's the, it is the largest wildfire in state history. Uh, Northeast Texas media, Green, Greenville Fire Department assisting in the massive wildfires in the Texas panhandle. This is the Canadian area. Small, small fire NATO uh, as they are driving by and I think it's right here. There's the fire NATO. So okay, next one. The smoke ha- this is from Volcoholic. The Smokehouse Creek fire in Texas expanded dramatically, ballooning from 300 to 500 acres in two days. Well, <laughs> and now uh, to a million. Now ranking as the second largest wildfire in the state's history. Just awful. It looks like Armageddon. Well, I think it's because it is. It actually is Armageddon. I think Armageddon's been going on for a long time. <coughs> um, 
well, sorry, not Armageddon. That's the final, that's like one of the battles during the, the last war. But it looks like the apocalypse. Maybe that's what Valkaholic meant. It looks like the apocalypse, and it is the apocalypse. We're in the last days. We're starting to see more and more uh, places go down in flames just like this. All right, this is from uh, like an airplane at night. Valkaholic, this is insane. View of the Texas Panhandle fires from above. It's colossal. Yep, it sure is. It really, really is. Let's look at it again from this map. It's just absolutely gigantic. And um, right now we have red flag warnings that go up through here, uh, including the Kansas City area. Uh, not where I live. I live down here by Wichita, but I think it was like yesterday or the day before there was a red flag warning extending from the fires up through here. But anyway, uh, I, I sure hope this doesn't spread all the way to where I live. I doubt that it would. If if that happened, that would be one for the record books, not just for Texas and uh, Oklahoma, but for the United States, I think. <coughs> Excuse me, I think if it made it as far as where I live. Okay. Uh, Blake Brown, here's an area, <coughs> excuse me, here's an area on how, fr okay, I think that's a typo, here's an area, Fritch, Texas, uh, looks today after a devastating wildfire pushed through town, upwards of 100 homes have burned and possibly more, absolutely heartbreaking to look at, and this, uh, geez, this right here definitely looks apocalyptic, the hot shot wake up. Texas fires continue to romp. Uh, multiple towns, including Canadian Texas, have been evacuated. The Smokehouse Creek fire is now over 100,000 acres. Well, that's old news. It's from a couple days ago. This is near Canadian Texas. Let's see. Yeah, this one's near Canadian, it looks like. That... This looks like it's from a movie. I feel like this video right here is pretty dramatic. The Smokehouse Creek Fire crossed Highway 83 just northwest of Canadian Texas and is currently moving in a northeast direction. Uh, this is from Ian Leonard. Smoke from wildfires in Texas will push north into Minnesota Thursday and Friday, similar to the smoky slash hazy skies last summer from the wildfires in Canada. Yeah, that was a big thing last year, and I feel like it was uh, a sign of the times. Uh, essentially, we had this huge event last year with the, the Canadian wildfire smoke. Let me turn it on. Here we go. So this, uh, er, this, this like white line right here is roughly the, uh, encompasses the area, well, the areas that saw the Canadian wildfire smoke which includes all these uh, gray orb looking things right here. These are all the like capital cities of states and provinces between the United States and Canada. It also went across the, the Atlantic Ocean all the way to Lisbon, Portugal and Madrid, Spain. So that was a pretty big event where uh, for a lot of these places, the sun was darkened, the moon was turned into blood. The skies were hazy and dark and smoky and uh, there were air quality uh, alerts uh, throughout the country. So, but it looks like we're now it's not coming from Canada. It's coming from the United States and it's going up um, across where I'm at. I, I, I think I've seen some of it. Like I said, the other day we were driving uh, east and we saw like what looked like smoke coming from the southwest. And now I think I realized that it was coming from Texas. I think that's what I was seeing. Okay, there's a house, and then here's another really crazy looking picture. So, um, I don't know, you know, 3% contained, and they only have basically between now and Saturday to try and um, make some progress before we get more wins. I don't know. There may be a chance it'll come up into Kansas right here into like Southwest Kansas, potentially. Maybe that, I don't know. I don't know how likely that is, but we'll just have to keep an eye on it. This might be uh, like 
the the one thing that I was looking for at the beginning of this year, like, um, it seems like each year there's always been like some really big event that's taken place, like the volcano that erupted off the coast of Tonga uh, at the beginning of 2022. Last year, it was the earthquake in Turkey that caused that Mount of Olives in Turkey to split into two. And this year, on uh, New Year's Day, that was there was that earthquake and tsunami in Japan. That's how we started this year. But since that time, uh, I don't feel like anything like really big has happened as far as like natural disasters go or or anything else. We do have the war going on in Israel, but that's been like an ongoing thing since October of last year. So this might be like uh, that big thing that I was wanting to know uh, that I was, you know, waiting for uh, aside from the Japan earthquake and tsunami. So again, I I can't, I can't like, I can't (coughs) emphasize this enough. This is already larger than California's largest wildfire and it's only 3% contained. Uh, this really might be one for the record books if they if it continues to spread and if uh, they don't make any progress in, um, you know, stopping it. This could get really, it already is really, really big. It could get even bigger. So let's just keep an eye on it. If there's any big news, I'll uh, make another video about it. If you see any big news, please let me know because I, you know, sometimes I, I miss things. But yeah, so... All right, well, that's it for this one. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Also, make sure to share it, and I'll talk to you guys later.